Yeah, we are ready for our big project, farming awakened sextants, which go for around 5C a piece at the moment. Very interesting. And I think I min-maxed it a little bit. I first gonna show you the adaptations I put on my atlas. I took highest contract job level four and five chance. So we've got more contracts, engineering contract, which uh, yield up to two chests per room. Very good. And then we took the finer arts. So we get more engineering contracts and here more contracts at all very nice and we've got heist on the map device so we can pay six chaos per map and get as much engineering contracts and blueprints as we can and i took i changed something uh, for the equipment um, first we st uh, start with isla isla will all do all contracts which are job level four or five he he's the only rogue who can run them and we will give him a nice uh, brooch which doubles contained maps 10 percent can go up to 15 percent but i haven't found one was too there wasn't one perhaps we have to craft a better one we will see and he can duplicate contained basic currency and I think that Awakened Sextant, Chisels and Horizon Orbs are basic currency. We will see. And then we've got Vinderi. He can do all engineering contracts up to level three. Because we give him this um, Grandmaster Keyring plus one to level of all jobs for heist. And he gets the same brooch so that he can also double up the basic currency and the contained maps and there are good maps in this these chests yeah and now we go back to our hideout and look for some maps we can run i would say we run 20 maps and try to get as many engineering contracts and blueprints as we can get and then i will report back to you how it worked okay we ran 20 maps and we got a lot of uh, contracts and blueprints as you see these blueprints have nothing to do with our project there is no engineering in them these both have engineering then we found some deception contracts and a lot of engineering contracts this comes from this note here um, more deception and engineering contracts and we got quite good engineering contracts these are level one level two level three and then we've got three times level four engineering level four and three times engineering level five very nice I think the next step would be to run those and have a look how many chests are in this, let me quickly count, 11 engineering contracts. Uh, on the side we found a divine orb, we found five lockbooks and a lot of exotic coinage for our two gen gambles or the other lot I put away. Okay, now we go to the rogue harbor and run these contracts. Okay, now we start uh, running all these contracts or have a look into them if there are map chests and we have a last quick look on the equipment of our rogues. Um, for the level 4 and 5 um, contracts we have to take Isla and he has this brooch which which can duplicate basic currency, so the awakened sextants we are after. And it can duplicate maps, which and there are a lot of quite valuable maps in these chests, as you will see, hopefully. And for the one, level one to level three um, contracts, we can take Vindari, and he has such a brooch too. He can duplicate contained basic currency, contained maps, and 
More important, he has a 16% chance to duplicate the content of chests. So this will be interesting, I would say. And I will now go into all these contracts and show you the results. Okay, in these 11 contracts were only two chests with maps. I think this is quite unlucky, but we have one blueprint left, which has two rooms and I will reveal and run them now and then show you the results. Yeah, we are now opened uh, six chests together and this is what we got. We got nine Awakened Sextants, we got a Conqueror map, a Shaper map, two of these Wild Temple maps which are quite valuable, some other currency and some maps above tier 14. When I look back, I don't think that this is a standalone method. And I don't think it's worth running these engineering contracts because there were so many without any map room. I have found a be better possibility which I will show you quickly. You can buy blueprints with engineering and th these engineering rooms have always two chests in them. So this is very reliable and they are absolutely dirt cheap. Look at this, one chaos, two chaos, yeah? And there are 2,500 on the market, no problem. What I did was uh, I searched for blueprints, item level, area level 82, and then I searched for engineering level one to three, cause then we can take always Windary, which should be better. I think I will, do a quick project like uh, pff, 10 blueprints of this kind. I will buy them and run them. This will be our next video. I think this can be really great. Okay, see you next time. Have fun. Bye bye.